All right, please YouTube. Um, there are a lot of people that I see that uses God to define their race. Um, where they say, China, "Do you worship a Chinese God, African God, European God?" Um, when you start entering into, into identifying your race based off your God you worship, that's where you have problems. I don't worship a black God. I don't worship a Chinese God. I don't worship a European God. I don't worship a green, yellow, blue God. I worship the creator of the heavens and the earth. And the creator created all of us. All right? He chose a particular people. I don't believe God is black. I don't believe he's red. I don't believe he's white I don't believe he is God is a human being at all okay I believe there is nothing like God so that's what we're trying to get we're trying to get to a point where we stop identifying ourselves and coloring God in that is called idol worshiping that is what the scriptures all the scriptures fought against where you make images of God based off how you look and then that begets wars wars I have a white God oh my God is black and this and that and this and that when God is neither God was not created from the dirt of the ground so God does not have a hue like us he is not black he is not white because he's not created from mud alright so all of these deities, the African gods, those are gods that they made up. Um, Chinese gods, they're gods that they made up. European gods, gods that they made up. Fairies and all of that stuff. But our uh, people have to get back to the worship of the one God, the most high God, where there's nothing like unto him. He neither begets nor is, was he begotten. The creator, in a sense. I mean, not in a sense, but yes, true. Not in no sense, but so true. Um, so, there's no conflict with that. Um, like Egyptian gods. Horus is the black version of Jesus. Jesus is the European version. And they took the man named Yeshua. And change them into their white God. Um, and the problem comes in is when you worship other than God. If you worship something other than the Creator, you're going to have problems anyway. Because it's just not true. Another thing I want to address. Black stone. The black stone is, is not written anywhere in the Quran. To kiss it, to worship it, to go there is not written anywhere in the Quran. The Quran says hellfire will be filled with stones. It will be fueled by stones and men and gins. So the Quran does not condone any stone worship or kissing a stone or anything like that. Um, I'm here to, to teach and to let you know, and I haven't even got started yet that Islam, the, the Islam you see today is the same as Roman Catholic the Roman Catholics that's not real Christianity that's not the real that's not what Yeshua or Isa or Jesus actually taught that is something they made up the Pope is not in the Bible, it's not even in the New Testament the Pope is not even there just like the black stone is not there and the location of Mecca that's not the same location um, in the Quran okay so the Judaism you see today is not the real Judaism that Moses taught Moses taught a different kind he didn't even teach Judaism there's no such thing as Judaism Judah 
is one tribe. Judah never had a religion by themselves. Okay? Judah is just one tribe. No such thing as Judaism. There's no such thing as Sunni Islam. That's something humans made up. And the Most High allowed them to do that because you have free will. And you can die, deny the message. Roman Catholic. The Romans were enemies to Jesus. There's no really such thing as that. The original Christians did not believe that. The original Nazareans and Ebo Knights. They did not believe that. The original Muslims did not they did not have anything to do with what's going on today with Muslims. They dress different, they pray different, their direction of prayer was different. Their ideology was different. Totally different. So and a lot of people have opinions on this, but they have to settle themselves and study. Alright? Now I don't want to go into spiritual order. But back to what I was saying about different gods, Chinese gods, African gods, European gods, and all of that stuff. That trick only works with idol worshippers. Paganism. Paganism, idolatry is the real word. Idolatry is when you worship three gods, two gods, polytheists, being a polytheist. You worship multiple deities as creator. I only worship the one true creator of the heavens and the earth. I believe there's one true creator. Um, and other people believe in multiple polytheist deities. But in, in the Old Testament, so-called Old Testament, and in the Quran, it warns people to not be a polytheist. Because those gods, Horus, Ptah, Jesus, um, all the Chinese gods are something they made up. Or they got it from a human being or whatever. So, all my people, I am to you a warner, clear and open, that you should worship God, fear him and obey me, so he may forgive you of your sins and give you time. Oh my people, worship God. You have no other God but him. I fear for you the punishment of a dreadful day. Peace.